What is up, YouTube? Welcome to Panfro Games. In today's video, I'm going to show you the best two builds to solo the seven star Terra Raid Del Fox for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And of course, guys, if you like this type of content, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. I really appreciate it. Consider joining the Pan Fan today by hitting that join channel member button below. So, we got two builds here. And number one is going to be the Heat Tran. Now, Heat Tran, we're going to run Terra Steel and the Item Shell Bell to give us that HP sustain. And we're going max HP, max special attack, modest nature. You could also go max special attack, uh, max special defense if you would like to as well. That works as well. Uh, we're going with the ability Flash Fire because we're going to be immune to fire attacks, which is going to be really nice. And pretty much our game plan here is use Metal Sound like twice in the beginning. And then we're going to use Flash Cannon and steel beam to do as much damage as possible flash cannons how we're going to build up terra charge and then steel beams like our tactical nuke uh be warned this will do 50 percent damage to yourself so i would use this as like an opening move after the two metal sounds or maybe use this like as a finisher move at the end and then we're going to terra and then try to take it out as quickly as possible he trains really good for this raid overall and it's definitely going to be the premier special attacker for this raid now serialize is going to be a premier physical attacker for this and i recommend using a shell bell on this one too with terra steel now max hp max attack adamant nature once again you can remove the max hp and make it max special defense if you would like to and we're using the ability flash fire which is going to be a make us immune to fire type moves which is going to be really good because it's also going to boost the damage of our fire type attacks called bitter blade now the general strat here is to use bitter blade in the beginning or iron head in the beginning three times tear out immediately once you can and then once you can tear out use swords stands to set up and do massive amount of damage of iron head because there'll be terra steel and that's gonna do a lot more damage than bitter blade you want to use bitter blade when you want to get that hp regain because bitter blade can actually heal you to max hp which is really good but we still like the item shell bell because when you do damage with iron head you still want a little bit of hp regain back so that's gonna be really nice you can set up a light screen if you feel like you need to. Uh, this will pretty much be like a plus two spadef for five turns, which is going to be really nice. But both of these solos are definitely phenomenal. I know not everyone can get Heat Trans, so uh, Surya Ledge is going to be a great option for those who doesn't have a Pokemon Home access. All right, so we're here with the Heat Trans solo, and we're going to be going in with a lot of Metal Sound action in the beginning. And of course, Dazzling Gleam turns zero, which means we can take that that's a quad resist this is gonna do like 20 damage to a max hp one or not even that it's super it does nothing to us we're gonna go for metal sound and it's gonna probably go for what, it went for psychic it can also go for fire blast we're immune to fire blast and we resist the uh, psychic and we hit the first metal sound which is great uh very important to hit your metal sounds it's gonna make the raid a lot easier for sure so that's one down we're gonna go for number two we got number two which is freaking fantastic we love to see it and we can even go for a third one. If you hit the first two, you can go risky and go for a third one, which I would recommend. And just, like, try your luck on it. And we got our third one. So it's minus six. It's paralyzed. We're in a phenomenal position right here. We're in a great position. We are now ready for it to tear it on us. And we can start doing massive amounts of damage on it. And now I'm going to go for a Steel Beam because he's minus six. He has no shields. This is going to do so much damage. That's a huge chunk. And that we're almost dead, but we're not. And we get almost like all that HP back. Uh, it takes 50% of the beginning, but because of that much damage, we're going to recover a lot because of the Shell Bell. That Dazzling Beam, once again, does nothing to us. He takes a little bit of our Terra Orb, but that's fine. But at this point in the raid, we are just going to hit Flash Cannon a bunch. We are just going to hit Flash Cannon. It's minus six. We want that Flash Cannon. It doesn't matter. Nullifying stat changes abilities. We didn't buff ourselves. Magic Room is not great. It, so we have no more Shell Bell until Magic Room is gone. So we're not going to be restoring HP here. But the point of this is going to be hitting as many Flash Cannons as possible. You want to Terra as soon as possible. But if we're low on HP, uh, I would just rather die and then Terra on full HP. So keep that in mind. So good decent chunk all right that's one we want we need to hit three two got a crit there that's nice fire blast we're immune there you go you're always gonna get one fire blast immunity going on with heat train which is always nice now hit number three and we're still in a great position 
And we're honestly wasting out the magic room turns as well. Really great, too. So now I can Terra. And I'm going to Terra Flash Cannon. I don't have any HP regain right now because the magic room is still up. If magic room wasn't up, probably would have gone for the uh, Steel Beam to try to burst. Steel Beam probably would have burst it through the rest of that shield because it is still minus six. But this is going to do a lot of damage for sure. They essentially double stab when you have Terra on. Massive chunk right here. Yeah, Steel Beam would have destroyed it. Don't think it would have one-shot it at that point, but it would have done a crap on it. Now, okay, now it's not minus six anymore, but we're in such a good position, it doesn't really matter. At this point, you could go for an attack here if you would like to. Uh, I'm just going to try to punch through the rest of this Terra. I don't want to die and lose Terra when it still has a shield up. And it's right at the cuffs there of breaking. We got a spadaf drop. That's huge. Going to make this a little bit easier. Magic Room is over, so we got a little bit of HP sustained back, which every little hit does matter. Psychic. Going to hurt. But it's now it's shields. Well, shields are up, but technically they're down. Big chunk right there. A little bit of HP sustained back. And now at this point, we just sort of go for the kill. Shields are down. will o -Wiz doesn't matter. Depending on your HP, you could go for a Steel Beam here. I'm not going to because I am less than half right now. I'm in the, uh, like, orange. But two more Flash Cannons will definitely kill for me unless I get a crit. All right, there we go. And now I could Steel Beam for funsies, but Flash Cannon will take it out. But that Heatran Solo is very consistent, very easy. Uh, honestly, you're, the hardest part about the Heat Train solo is, like, you, what is your luck with Metal Sound, right? If you get three Metal Sounds, this raid is incredibly easy. Uh, if you only get one, it's not going to be as easy. You're going to have a timer issue at that point. So, there, there is some issues with it, but Heat Train is definitely phenomenal. And, of course, you can use Heat Train for online as well. It's going to be an absolute online play. Can't believe we did not actually kill it there. That's crazy. I went for will o -Wisp again. That's funny. Uh, keep setting up my flash fire. And now it is dead to the AI. And there you go. That's the Heat Train solo. Nice and easy, honestly. Now let's move on to our next solo. All right. So now it is time for the Ghost Knight. Come in for the solo here. We got the exact same raid partners, which is pretty awesome. This is going to be, you know, pretty static. All right. So what we're going to be doing here is we need to get our Terra Orb as quickly as possible, or this is going to be very hard. And I recommend just hitting Bitter Blade three times, straight up. You get the HP regain really well here, and you're going to really need it for this raid. The moment we Terra Steel, we're going to be good. We're going to take the damage really well. It's not going to be a problem at all. But we need to get to that point, and that's going to be the hardest thing. And the Shadow Bell procs as well, so we get the double regen, which is always going to be nice with Bitter Blade. It's going to give you pretty much almost top us up every time. Psychic is devastating. A crit or a spadef drop is going to be really devastating, but luckily that has not happened yet. And we're honestly doing pretty decent uh, damage with just the uh, Bitter Blade going on here too. So this is pretty decent with no setups. And we got the Paralyzed, which is nice. So one last Bitter Blade. Damage is big. The damage is real. And the Psychic. No crit. No spit after drop. And that is A-OK -okay with me. All right. I'm going to Terra and Iron Head. And there we go. The hardest part of the raid is now over here. So you can Iron Head. You can Swords Dance immediately. I'm actually probably should have Swords Dance there, but it's fine if you don't. You can live if you don't. I just wanted to get off. So here's the damage about Swords Dance going off, which I think is an interesting thing to show off. It's going to do a decent, a decent chunk. Decent chunk. Decent chunk without Swords Dance. Now, if we get a couple Swords Dances off, we're going to start popping off and doing it big time. All right, so he stole some of the terror, char the terror Orb Charge, which is why we had a Terra immediately. So let's Swords Dance here. So if we're keeping notes at home. 
attack three times a blader blade and then you should sword dance three times luckily fast flyer uh made it so we can't get burned which is phenomenal which also boosts the damage of bitter blade so bitter blade is going to be hitting really hard and when we're low on hp we're going to be using bitter blade exclusively but we're still high on hp so we're fine for now we want to get three swords dance offs all right so we got two and we're going to be fine barring a crit or uh but f drop we should be okay on this next one on uh, on more swords dance and it's paralyzed so we're gonna outspeed so we're great and now we can really start popping off of iron head damage and no crit, no spadef drop. Okay, we're good. And it removed negative effects around it. That does not hurt me at all. And this is when we start popping off big damage. It start hitting those iron heads. It will try to remove our uh, buffs, so we're going to have to watch out for that. Definitely going to be problematic. See, that Dazzling Gleam did a decent amount of damage, too, but that's fine. That's a huge chunk right there. Getting a lot of HP back from that. Go for another one. This may actually be able to break it. Be close to breaking it. Good. No bad RNG. No crit. No but death drop. Good. Very close to breaking. That's going to give us a lot of HP back. Now we can safely go for another Iron Head. So, remove stat changes. So... At this point, Magic Room removes our item, which is very annoying. And it's going to set up a nasty plot. This is very scary. Now, this is a scary situation. I'm actually going to set up a light screen here. I'm going to go ahead and set up a light screen because he set up nasty plot. We have five turns to reset up again, which I do think it is worth to probably set up again. So now we can take those psychics really well. I'm gonna do swords dance. That was a big hit. That was a crit. That's yep, no wonder why that was a big hit. That was a crit that went right through my light screen, which is very disappointing. And I'm actually gonna go for bitter blade to get that HP re regain right now. Because we really need it. And because of the magic room, we are not going to be uh, able to uh get a shell bell back. This is going to be a decent amount of HP back here. Nice chunk, nice chunk. And because our HP is low, I will be going for another Bitter Blade. And with this Bitter Blade, we should be able to survive another attack. That was a huge chunk right there. And we're only plus two. I'm going to go for a Sword Stance because I'm full. And then after this Sword Stance, I will go for an Iron Head. Light screen still being up is good. I think that might have been my last turn on light screen. But now I'm going to start going for the kill. We're plus four. We're in a great situation. We're going to use that big stab, super effective Iron Head. Dazzling would love to see it. When he stops using Psychic, you know you're in the clear. You love to see it. This is going to do a lot. And we got our item back. And now we're good to go. We don't even need Bitter Blade anymore. Fire Blast. Well, immune. Once again, Flash Fire Boost. I'm pretty sure the Del Fox ran out of Psychics. And he only has 10 Psychics. So if you can survive 10 Psychics, the raid is over in my opinion. The raid is just straight over you survive 10 Psychics. Just one more Iron Head for that sweet, sweet solo. But this solo did take a little bit more time than the Heat Tran one. But I do feel a little bit safer and more consistent with this because I don't have to worry about metal sound misses with this. I just have to make sure that I can set up in worst case scenario. You're in a bad spot. You put out that light screen, take a turn to yourself, then reset up behind the light screen. Hope you don't get crit like I did, but hey, we are able to come back with that critical hit through the light screen and still be able to defeat that Del Fox. But there you have it, guys. Those are two phenomenal ways to solo this raid. Good luck on farming this thing by yourself. You don't play online. Check out tomorrow's video where I'll show you the easy one-hit KO method with a group of four. Phenomenal. I was doing all on stream. It was incredible. Anyways, guys, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. I really appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out and have a good one.